House GOP lawmakers want answers from Rod Rosenstein. They're planning meeting with the deputy attorney general behind closed doors over his alleged comments on wiring the president, something Congressman Trey Gowdy echoed on Sunday. Rod deserves to be heard out, and I appreciate the president um, talking to him this week, and we're going to talk to him. I want to know what he said, then I want to know what he meant. I want to know whether anyone else was present for these meetings. Joining us now, Congressman Andy Biggs of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. What do you want to know? Well, I, I want to know the same thing. I mean, I'm kind of giving Mr. Rosenstein, at least on this particular issue, a little break because it was the Times that reported it and Andrew McCabe that supposedly was with him. But we need to know how serious this was because this points to actually take over the American government. So if he meant it, and this is something he was uh, poised to do, this is really problematic. Well, Rosenstein's denied it. He's denied it, but he's denied it in ways that are kind of ambiguous. And uh, he's kind of said, well, we were just joking around. Others who are present reportedly have said that, no, he was dead serious. And so this is why we want Ro Mr. Rosenstein to come in so we can get him to tell us his side of the story. What do you think is going to come from this closed door meeting? I think you're going to see, uh, we, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of that, but we also want to talk about the FISA documents and why we're not getting those uh, released, why they're not coming out declassified, why they're not coming, why the documents we've been wanting have been redacted so heavily and why he's uh, stonewalled us on that stuff. So I think this is going to be a little bit more uh, broad than just the, uh, the uh, allegations that uh, he was going to wiretap the president. Mark Meadows, uh, he tweeted out, uh, the House leadership had agreed to call Rosenstein for this closed-door meeting, quote, so he can explain his alleged comments on wiring the president. So we'll see if that gets expanded and where that goes. What do you think should happen with Rod Rosenstein? Well, I think he should resign. I, I think that I, I have felt that way for a number of, uh, you know, months now because everything from the fourth uh, renewal of the FISA warrant that he signed all the way to his uh, uh, lax uh, supervision of the Mueller investigation, uh, the documents that he's not provided to us and have been obstructionist, I think it just indicates a, a pattern. And that's why this is so troubling, this latest allegation, is because it kind of fits into this pattern of, of him uh, sub subverting the President Trump all the way from the time he was a camp candidate all the way to now. One House Democrat, uh, Jerry Nadler of New York, says that uh, Republican colleagues cannot be left alone in the room with Rosenstein. By the way, there's a possibility, I suppose, also that he doesn't show up for this. If he does, though, uh, Jerry Nadler says they will not, referencing Republicans, they will not stop until their attempt to undermine Mueller's investigation is complete. What do you say back to Democrats who say this is all an effort to undermine the, the investigation? Well, it's really not an, uh, an effort to undermine the investigation. What we're trying to do is get at the truth, make it transparent. And what we, found, what we have found out is everything that's come out of these investigations is that it was the Democrats, it was Hillary Rodham Clinton, that were trying to work with the Russians to uh, defeat a political opponent, which is outrageous. And they need to fess up to that and let us get to the bottom of this. But we're not going to get to the bottom of it with the uh, DOJ and the FBI obfuscating at the, top of, uh, at the highest levels. We need to be able to get to the bottom of this stuff. Do you think he shows up for this meeting, Rosenstein? I think so. I think he's, uh, you know, he's come publicly and testified before us, and I think uh, he'll probably come again. If he I, doesn't, I he do you agree with issuing a subpoena, as Mark Meadows has suggested? I would say we should issue a subpoena at that point. But I think he'll come. I think he'll come. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get there. All right. Congressman Andy Biggs, good to see you this morning. Thank you for coming on.